It is time for Wellness Wednesday, and believe it or not, the videos with the hashtag earwax have reached more than 5 billion views, and that is just on TikTok. What are you doing, guys, on the internet? What are we up to? Looking up earwax. Don't understand. All right, well, you may be surprised by the way as many people clean their ears. Senior health correspondent Monica Robbins shows us how Consumer Reports found the safest method. Have you seen the gross TikTok videos showing the extremes people will use to remove earwax? The popularity made Consumer Reports curious about these methods, so they checked them out. We saw such a huge interest in this topic, and when we looked into it, we found a wide range of products that made us wonder how a consumer should approach all of this. There's candling, where a waxed fabric tube is inserted into the ear, and when lit, the heat supposedly draws debris from inside the ear. You can buy many scoops to clean out your ears, some even equipped with a camera, so you can view what's happening with your phone. There's the soft drill-shaped devices that claim you can twist the wax out of your ear canal, or this one that looks like a wire whisk. So which should you buy? Maybe none. We do not recommend any clearing with any devices or in any shape or form. The FDA says stay away from candling, warning the risk of burns or injury to the inner ear. Do you really need to remove earwax? Doctors say it actually limits bacteria in your ears. If you have hardened wax or your body produces an unusual amount, you can use over-the-counter eardrops to soften it up and make it easier to wash out. But most people don't have to do anything at all. Every time you chew and you move your jaw, this movement by itself expels the excess of earwax out of your ears. Hear that? One less thing for you to worry about. Monica Robbins, 3 News. Girlfriend comes right out of the gate with the videos. Now, first of all, tell awesome. people how this story came to be. I, well, I was, <laughs> I was scrolling social media, and I saw this video, and I was trying to figure out what it was. I couldn't tell. And it turned out it was somebody digging earwax disgusting. out. Yeah. It, it kind of got me. I was very upset I didn't recognize the anatomy right away. <laughs> All right, yes. so fill us in on this because obviously it's on social media. People are looking and they're thinking, oh, well, if it's on social media, I must need this mm -hmm. versus the good old Q-tips that's been around forever. I mean, are we talking anything you stick in your ear is dangerous? Okay, have you ever read the directions on the Q-tip box? Right. I read it for the kids. You got to put it, your fingers right at the edge. Uh, yeah. uh, you will not find instructions relating to anything cleaning your ears. Really? With right. a Q-tip. What no. else do you use Q-tips for? <laughs> Getting <laughs> mascara off your face and fixing your lipstick and your nail polish. You know, that's not what they're for, obviously, is to clean your ears. On average, get this, 35 kids go to the emergency room every day due to cotton swab ear damage. That's oh. kids. That's not counting adults. It is just too easy to stick it in a little too far and cause an infection or worse, mm -hmm. poke through your eardrum. And I will freely admit I had, I didn't poke through my eardrum, but yes, I stuck it in too far and it hurts. And the, the danger is it can cause permanent hearing loss. You can't see what you're doing unless you're gonna spend the big bucks on the one with the camera that Matt wants. But think of it like driving blindfolded. Bottom line, if it is smaller than your elbow, keep it out of your ears. Oh, <laughs> what? Boy. Okay, yes. okay, hold on. So then if... <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> a lot of questions here. There's a lot to unpack okay. in that statement. A lot to unpack. Let's get to the bottom of this. Okay. If, if we shouldn't be cleaning our ears, what should we be cleaning? Because we all put a lot of stuff in our ears in this day and age. You got AirPods and IFBs. Yeah, and when was the headphones? last time you cleaned your IFB, um, Isabel? Matt you know? wins would I know. did. You cleaned it for me? You put hair out of it. I've got a whole kit over there. It's like a NASCAR training center. It's great. Yeah, I have, I have I, for, for mine, I have a little, like, like Hoover thingy. Right. But yeah. Right. Well, Consumer Reports advises clearing the wax out of your listening devices, like your earbuds, once a month. It won't only just keep them less gross, because have you looked at them lately? Ugh. But your headphones might actually last longer. So use a paper clip or a soft toothbrush or spend the money like Matt Wentz does and uh, buy, buy the whole kit. But uh, yeah, those are the things that you can use the Q-tips for to clean. Dip uh -huh. them in alcohol and clean that icky, gooey stuff off. Disgusting. All right, yeah. Matt Wentz, thoughts? 
Yeah, I think I think a Q-tip's just fine in your ear. I mean, this is a medical advice, but as long as you know your way around, I mean, don't poke your eardrum, and you should know the canal. <laughs> you get to know your ear after a while. Familiar with the topography you of the really inside of your ear. You can really get some interesting things out of there. You know, that's the that's the problem. Is a lot of people start doing it and they're not paying attention. Right, you have and to focus. And then they stick it too far. Put a Kleenex on your finger if you need to, and just clean the outside and a little bit in there, and that's that's all you need. Not to as do. exciting. No. <laughs> Okay. You just never know what you're going to get on this show. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And some days we don't know what we're going to get on this show. It just kind of happens as we move along. So. Hashtag earwax. Yeah, thanks, Monica. Nice. We're on that next. All right.